Good morning, this is Pastor Jeff, and this is our daily lectionary readings for Wednesday, January 17th, 2024. With it being Wednesday, we're still reflecting back on what happened at church on Sunday. Our psalm reading once again, then, will be Psalm 86. Our Old Testament reading switches to Genesis 16, 1-14. And then, our New Testament reading switches to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18, verses 15-17. through 17. And today we'll be reading out of the modern English version. Psalm 86. Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am oppressed and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am godly. You are my God. Save your servant who trusts in you. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for to you I cry all day long. Gladden the soul of your servant for your soul. O Lord, I lift my soul. For you, Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call on you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to my plea for mercy. In the day of my trouble, I will call upon you and for you will answer me. Among the gods, there is none like you, O Lord. Neither are there any works like your works. All nations whom you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name, for you are great and do wondrous deeds. You are God alone. Teach me your ways, O Lord, that I will walk in your truth. Bind my heart to you to fear your name. I will give you thanks, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forever. For great is your mercy towards me, and you have delivered my soul from the depth of Sheol. O God, insolent men have risen against me, and bands of violent men have sought my life. They have not yet set you before them. But you, O Lord, are a great God, full of compassion and gracious, slow to anger, and abundant in mercy and truth. Turn to me and have mercy on me. Give your strength to your servant, and save the humble son of your female servant. Show me a sign of your favor, that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed because you lord have helped me and comfort me our old testament reading comes from the book of genesis chapter 16 verses 1 through 14. now sarai abram's wife had borne him no children and she had a maid servant an egyptian whose name was hagar so Sarai said to Abram, The Lord has prevented me from having children. Please go in to my maid. It may be that I will obtain children through her. Abram listened to Sarai. So after Abram had been living for ten years in the land of Cana, Sarai, his wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, and gave her to her husband Abram to be his wife. He went in to Hagar, and she conceived. When she saw that she had conceived, she had begun to despise her mistress. Then Sarai said to Abram, May the wrong done to me be on you. I gave my maid into your arms. And when she saw that she had conceived, I became despised in her eyes. May the Lord judge between you and me. But Abram said to Sarai, Indeed, your maid is in your power. Do to her as you please. Then Sarai dealt harshly with her, and she fled from her presence. The angel of the Lord found her by a spring of water in the wilderness. It was the spring on the way to Shur. And he said, Hagar, Sarai's maid, where have you come from and where are you going? And she said, 
I am fleeing from the presence of my mistress, Sarai. Then the angel of the Lord said to her, Return to your mistress and submit yourself to her authority. The angel of the Lord also said to her, I will multiply your descendants exceedingly, so they will be too many to count. Then the angel of the Lord said to her, You are pregnant and will bear a son. You shall name him Ishmael, because the Lord has heard your affliction. He will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand will be against him. And he will dwell in the presence of all his brothers. Then she called the name of the Lord and spoke to her. You are the God who sees, for she said, Have I now looked on him who sees me? Therefore the well was called Beer Laha Roy. It is between Kadesh and Bered. Our gospel reading today comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18, verses 15 through 17. They also brought infants to him that he might touch them. When the disciples saw it, they rebuked him. But Jesus called them to him and said, Permit the little children to come to me, and do not hinder them. For to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly I say to you, whoever will not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will in no wise enter it. And here ends our readings for the day.